Today, I want to chat about a, a little trick that uh, the government has discovered the last 10, 20, 30 years. Um, and yeah, yeah, it's probably been around longer than that. But they do this to people who they think are stupid, who are dumb, gullible, et cetera. And uh, in case you're not familiar with this one, just thought I'd let you know about it uh, so that you don't look silly to them. I mean, if that's important to you. So <clears throat> here's what it is. It is the idea of public comment. And so what the government does, they, they, they're kind of getting excited about this trick the last 10 years, especially 10, 15 years, is, uh, is they'll, they'll come up with some plan to do something. And then they will, before they implement it, they will say that they want to have a period of public comment. And it'll either be a live meeting uh, in a big a uh, big room with a bunch of tables at it, and they'll have all of their manipulators that will, there'll be one of those assigned, not a manipulator, I meant facilitator. And one of their manipulators will be assigned to each table. And they'll make sure that the the conclusion that comes out is the, the correct one. And then sometimes the public comment will just be on the uh, you, you, uh, not YouTube, uh, email, uh, phone calls or letters, that kind of thing. But but they really want to hear what the, the stakeholders have to say, the community. What does the community think about this new plan, this new idea, this new law, this new order, this new development, this new whatever? Well, they already have their answer. They already know what they're going to do. <clears throat> so why are they doing this? Why are they doing this public comment uh, scam, this 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 thing to fool people. Well, they want to relief, uh, relieve the pressure. They want to let you just blah, get it out of your system, yell, scream, shout, and get it out of your system. And then they'll go ahead and go straight forward with a plan they originally had in mind. And then if you complain uh, later and you say, hey, <clears throat> well, you know, you didn't do what I wanted. They'll say, well, yeah, but there were a lot of factors at play. And you know, we got a lot of other comments and and we just, you know, we, we had a very tough decision, not an easy job. We worked late into the night, had to make some very tough decisions, and we decided that we were going to whatever they originally knew they were going to do. Now, let's say you didn't go to one of these public meetings. Uh, then when you complain to them afterward, when they do the thing they were going to do anyway, <clears throat> and you say, I can't believe you did blah, 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 shame on you, you tyrant. And they say, oh, no, no, no. Where were you during the public comments? We tried to have it be an, an inclusive participatory thing where the whole community could come together and, and everyone's voice could be heard. And then they'll try to make you look like an idiot for not showing up. Well, don't show up. <clears throat> like you're just playing into their silly little silliness. Um, don't give them the satisfaction of having fooled you. Like I'd love it if they had these public comments and nobody showed up. Or just send them a letter saying, screw off, loser, ruling class. You know, something just disrespectful, but that doesn't show any, you know, well, you're honorable. I just really think it would be great. And I trust whatever you decide. I'm your loyal subject, you great leader. I just, no, don't kowtow to them. Don't fall for this. That's my advice. If you do decide to go to a, this event, just know they've already decided They've already decided <clears throat> they're doing this a lot for environmentalist stuff. <clears throat> so when they decide that they're going to put in a, a paved bike path, a fifth lane, or a, they're going to right size the streets or smart streets, and they decide that the spandex and the helmet dude in your local area it gets with the government, they're all in big coots with this, and they decide they're going to have this fifth lane a bicycle path. And then they have public meetings to see, you know, should it stretch to mile marker? 126 or should we take it all the way to 128 and we don't really know should the thing be eight feet wide or should it be 10 feet wide we really want the community's input to decide what's going to happen here well no it's already going to be essentially what it's going to be don't fall for this folks love y'all be smart don't fall for their stupid tricks okay